DeWalter PDP F-Series, the best option for you if you're looking for a Walther PDP for concealed carry. The Walther PDP F-Series, if you're looking for size comparison, it's gonna be identical to a Glock 19 or Shadow Systems MR920. The other compact variant, full-size variants, they're much larger. And in fact, the compact is quite a bit larger than a Glock 19 if you put the two of them side by side. Now this, when I put this side by side to my Shadow Systems MR920, it's identical in size. The F series was supposed to be like a reduced frame size on here. Now the slide in that is about the same as what it was on the compact. However, it's still a little bit reduced overall size profile. Now the pistol, ergonomically, Walther PDP pistols in general in the F series are hands down probably the best option ergonomically. They feel good in your hand, they practically melt into your hand, and I don't think I've ever picked one up that didn't feel good in the hand. They just fit in your hand so well, regardless of your hand size or what you like in a grip. Grip textures on here is that hexagonal pattern with front strap checkering on there. Now this model in particular, we picked this thing up used for a steel. It came fully loaded with tons of features, which we'll get into, but on here is going to be actually be a lock grips, aluminum rear back strap. And that on there matches the actual texture here on the front. Now what they did a lot with this is actually that trigger reach for the PDP F series is shorter than what's on the standard PDP compact. So with that being said, the trigger on this is also different than what you're gonna get on the standard PDP. It is still a very good trigger, however, it is different. If you're familiar with the PDP trigger or even the performance trigger from them, they're fantastic. There really is nothing bad to say about them whatsoever. This one is fantastic as well. There is some take up in there, and then you hit a little bit of a wall, kinda, like more like a creepy wall there. And then if you have to push through there, you're gonna hit a defined wall in the back end of that. So. Take up, a little bit of like a more resistive take up, and then a defined wall, and then it breaks pretty crisp and clean. If I was to compare the trigger more to anything, it's probably like a highly broken in trigger with a Glock and maybe even a ghost connector on a Glock pistol, but it's very good. It's a really good trigger. It's probably one of the best out of the box triggers you're gonna get in this size pistol. It's fantastic. The rest of it, you get your slide serrations, which are fantastic from Walther. They're some of the best in the market. They're very easy to grasp. This pistol, doing press checks, very simple, no issues there whatsoever. Optics mounting on here, you do have to send out to get a plate. You'll see we have a 509T mounted on here. And then this model in particular that we picked up used actually came with the Trigicon HD Bright Night Sights. They're the extra tall ones, which I don't care for because unfortunately, because they're so tall, they start to somewhat interfere with the red dot itself. That optics cut sits fairly low as opposed to some of the other ones, even let's say a Glock MOS system, which those are crap, this isn't. So it sits low and it looks really good on here. But again, like I said, these sights on here, if you're looking to pick up, let's say suppressor height sights to get co-witness, these are too much. So I don't recommend them whatsoever. Good sights, just too high. Now shooting this thing, we'll talk about it on the range when we go out and actually shoot it. Return to zero is fantastic. It's a very easy shooting pistol. You do get two 15 round magazines with the pistol itself. They're the steel, good quality Walther magazines. The magazines themselves, they will be hard to find, but you'll be able to get them if you just keep an eye out for them. You do get two of them, and this pistol is a really good concealed carry size gun. I think it really fits that, that good, let's say, medium ground between a micro compact and then a compact pistol. It's just under a compact, in my opinion. Now, inside the pistol, this pistol does actually have the ZR Tactical guide rod system in it, um, different guide rod spring, that's actually a, let's say, stainless steel guide rod versus the plastic one that comes with it, which I don't personally have an issue with, but a lot of folks in our comment section talk about how they don't like that, that plastic polymer guide rod, which for me, I don't care. Um, but a lot of folks, they do care. On here, we also have a magwell, which is an aluminum magwell. So this thing's really kitted out, interfaces well. The button itself works really well. It's easy to grip. Um, no issues there for me whatsoever. Some pistols in this size range, even my MR920, which I personally carry as, as an EDC, I have to break my grip to get that button a little bit. Uh, not a lot, not quite like I have to do with pretty much all SIG pistols, but this thing is just nothing whatsoever. I don't have to do that, it's just there. And it's really nice. And you really can't stress it enough, 
ergonomically how good the PDP series of pistols are. And even then, the PPQ series of pistols from Walther were great as well. So let's get out on the range, shoot this thing a ton, and you guys can get to see how this thing performs. This is the Walther PDP F series. With all Walther pistols in general, one of the biggest things people always talk about is the triggers in them. The Walther PDP F series is really no exception to having a good trigger. However, what I'll make mention of is it doesn't feel as crisp or clean on the breaking end as a PDP does, like a regular PDP full size or even that new performance trigger. Um, it has a little bit of a creep into it that has a defined wall towards the end. And actually what I would say, it's far more similar to what you would get from a very broken in Glock style trigger, like something in the shadow systems that we shoot a lot of. And that's what this feels more like as opposed to a you know, completely defined wall with a very crisp break. It does have a short reset, but I'm gonna walk through the trigger now under actual live fire. So here you have your take up, take up and I'm hitting some resistance, come back and I'm actually hitting a little bit of mush right there. Okay, and then there's like a wall back here, and then it's defined. So you gotta like go through, go through, so you're gonna get resistance on your take up, a little bit more resistance, so like it's almost like a first wall, some people like to say, a little bit of resistance, and you hit an actual wall at the end. And it's, it's crisp once you get there, but you have to get there first. Um, a lot of people don't think that Glocks have a defined wall, it's because most people don't realize that you have to push through a, let's say like I like was like a first wall and then you get to a second one and it's actually in there. And this is very similar to how those are. Uh, 320s are kind of like that if you're very intimate with the trigger. My 320, I've shot it a lot and it is like that, but those, they're a little bit more, let's say of a pinpoint spot you have to sit, hit every time versus with this, it's very defined. The SIG, the 320, it's not quite like that. It's in there but it's just not quite as easy to find. This one here, I have no issue finding it, but again, you gotta go through some creep. And then the reset is very short. Uh, it's definitely shorter than the Glock pistols, the 320s and everything like that. In this size range, this pistol is identical to a G19 or the MR920 from Shadow Systems or like an X Compact from SIG. So overall, the reset on it is definitely the shortest. The wall is probably the most defined as opposed to like maybe a really broken in clock trigger. This Walther PDP F series that we have here does have a few modifications to it because we picked it up used. And with that being said, uh, it has an aluminum backstrap on it and the ZR recoil spring in here. So the recoil impulse in this is softer than I think what you're gonna get on a normal F series. However, I still can't sit here and tell you that this pistol shoots as soft as a Glock style pistol, just because again, it's a really, and generally speaking, it's because of that bore axis. This, however, does shoot flat, and with Walther pistols in general, although a lot of people like to say they're snappy in nature, they return back to zero very nicely, and you don't have that issue where you're hunting back for your sights or you're hunting for the red dot because it just seems to come right back to where you want it. So all those snappier, generally speaking, for myself, I can shoot them just as fast as I can Glock style pistols or 320s because of how well they just return back to where they came from. Yeah, I don't have any issues like picking that red dot back up as it comes. And even right now, I have some pretty significant glare coming in from the sun on the front of this 509T. And it makes it almost impossible to see my dot at times. But for the most part, the pistol, like I said, it just comes right back to where I need it to be. We talked about some of the things ergonomically that really makes the Walther series of pistols in general superior. The PDP F series is, is no exception to that. Ergonomically, it's probably second to none. I say that because the magazines are always easy to get in the magwell. This one here does have a magwell on it, but it's still easy to get into the pistol. The button itself is very easy for me to hit. I don't even have to break my hand on this. Now like a Glock 19, I do, a SIG X Compact, I do. This pistol, I don't need to. I can actually just reach down, I can hit that button, and I have no issues doing that. Grip-wise, they feel great in the hand. They're extremely 
um, neutral, so they're very easy for the average person to pick them up. Some people don't like Glock in general because of the grip angle. These don't have that issue because it's more of like a neutral 1911 style grip angle, and it feels good. After that, loading the pistol up is super simple because of the good slide serrations or the super terrain serrations that they use on here. Doing a press check, very easy to do. I have no issues getting up there, wrapping over, coming over the top, and doing a press check on there. Again, under a reload, the AMB slide stop or slide release there, easy to get. I don't have to break my hand, I'll move my hand. Really, my firing hand with this pistol doesn't have to come off it whatsoever to ultimately manipulate the pistol in any way, shape, or form. And I can really appreciate that because as much as I like the MR920 and how much I love carrying them, or even the 320 series of pistols in general, I, I gotta break my hand to do some of the things on there. And this pistol, I don't have to do that. One thing for myself is that if I shoot a lot of the other brands out there, as opposed to the Walter, I will find myself on occasion actually holding down that slide release lever and actually not allowing that pistol then to get slide lock on there. Now, some people will say, oh, I have to just plan to you know, grip it, rip it, whatever it is, but no, that, that's, that's a grip error. You have to fix your grip for shooting that particular pistol. These, I've you know, changed my grip over the years to accommodate uh, a better recoil control and things like that. And now with that, I generally don't have that problem. When I first started shooting these, I did. Now I don't, so good shooting pistols. I'm about four feet, five feet from the target now. What I'm gonna do is actually close course retention while retreating back to full presentation with the Walther PDP F series. Guys, that is the Walther PDP F series. This is a heck of a concealed carry type pistol, heck of a pistol for somebody who doesn't want a full blown, full size Walther PDP. I think it's actually probably one of the finest shooting guns on the market. It's very easy to shoot, very forgiving, great ergonomics, great trigger, great optics platform. Overall, this is a great addition to the Walther PDP series because the PDP series in general is a little bit on the larger side. This brings you into that concealed carry size, G19 size pistol, and I think it truly fits the bill for somebody who wants a great shooting pistol with all the features of the Walther PDP series. <music>